Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to be talking about making really small robots. We're going to be talking about flea weight with flea weights, which are 75 grams of robots. So they are half an ant weight build. Now in front of me, uh, you can see I've kind of been collecting parts for this for a little while. So uh, I have two different types of motors here in front of me. One that's slightly bigger and one that's slightly smaller. The slightly smaller ones go really, really quite slowly and the slightly bigger ones go pretty quickly actually. Uh, so I've picked these two motors out because they are smaller than the motors I run in my ants. And yeah, I just wanted to, to have something smaller than those so that I can cut some weight on the drive system because of course I'm going to have to cut weight pretty much everywhere if I want to build a 75 gram robot with a weapon. I could just cut size and weight out of the chassis if I wanted just a 75 gram wedge, but I think the challenge of building down at this level, uh, I really want a weapon involved as well. I don't want to just build a simple wedge because the, the whole point of building 75 grams is the challenge of building 75 grams, so we might as well do it properly and actually add an active weapon. And that's where this tiny little brushless motor here comes in. This thing is absolutely minuscule. I do have smaller ones though, but we'll talk about those in just half a second. And of course, I have a tiny little 100 milliamp hour uh, two cell battery that we made together on this channel. So you can jump back and have a look at that video if you want to. And the thing that's kind of made this really real for me is this. So this is a tiny mini version of the 2.4 gigahertz module that I usually run with my Arduinos. So this big guy over here, that is kind of two and a half to three grams worth of weight. This guy is half a gram. That whole circuit board, that entire communication module is half a gram. That's absolutely insane. So that means I can get away with putting my Arduino system into a 75 gram robot. That is gonna be awesome, awesome, awesome to see. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to build a 75 gram robot. Over here, I have a bit of a test base that I kind of printed up a little while ago and I didn't really ever get very far because I didn't think I had enough space in here and on the whole I didn't really like this design either. It wasn't a great uh, start. So as I mentioned, I've got those choices for drive motors but I also have this little thing. So this here is a tiny little micro uh, RC car that claims to run on 2.4 gigahertz. I'm not sure how much I actually believe that but it does have some very, very quick motors in it. In fact, they are ridiculously fast. I wouldn't be surprised if these are tiny little pager motors um, sitting in here, and those would be quite good, but the gearing seems a little bit fast. I don't know, we'll take this thing apart and see what the motors are like in there, because those might be a good little thing to steal away from uh, that robot and dump into a 75 gram robot, because this whole thing here is like 35 grams, so if I can steal the drive system and my electronic system is about the same weight as the electronics in here, then I have a lot of weight to add my own proper chassis and a weapon, which once again, is probably gonna be something attached to this brushless motor over here. Um, yeah, and then on top of all of that, if this goes well today, we're gonna to push lower than this. So this, all of this stuff is kind of me toying around looking at 75 gram stuff, which we're gonna finish today. But then all the way over here, this is me toying around at the 25 gram level. So this here is a full receiver that receives signals from an actual RC controller, and that is half a gram. And then this, this guy right here, that is a 1S brushless motor controller. Check out how small that thing is. This thing is absolutely tiny. And on top of that, we have an even smaller brushless motor. So I am starting to gather the parts for a 25 gram robot. Uh, this one is gonna be a little bit more interesting because I'm gonna need much, much, much smaller drive motors than the ones I've currently got sitting in front of me. So yeah, like I said, if the 75 gram goes well, look out for a 25 gram sometime this year. I don't think it's gonna be in the next six months because this is gonna be quite, quite the challenge to get done, but it will definitely happen. Uh, anyway, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this thing apart and have a look at the guts. Once we have uh, that apart and have had a look at the guts, I will work on a proper design for uh, the flea weight and then we'll get going from there.
And here we go, kind of, sort of, maybe. Uh, this is, at the moment, the finished product. This week has been absolutely mental for me, so I haven't actually had a, the time to finish this off cor uh, correctly. I did, as you can see, plug it in and power it up, and it seems as though this new tiny little uh, NRF chip has some trouble communicating with the old style, larger version, uh, which is a bit of an, an annoyance. I did power this up earlier and actually try it connected to a, a bigger Arduino, but yeah, for some reason connected to the smaller stuff, it just doesn't work, um, which is quite the pain. So this whole thing at the moment doesn't move, doesn't really do anything, doesn't even have the rubber band or the weapon teeth on it uh, for the actual weapon. However, the weapon does spin up. I tested all of the weight on this thing and it looks like it's 60 something grams, which means I have 10 whole grams that I can play with. So I think before this thing gets fought, it's going to uh, get bigger a little bit. It's gonna get wider across the front here, especially across where the drum is. And this whole back section is gonna be changed so that this battery can just like drop into there and then the wires will tuck down in the back somewhere along those lines. Um, yeah, and unfortunately that's gonna be it for this video. I've just run out of time to get all of this stuff done. This was, as I said, a bit of a crazy week. Uh, there was battle bots and all sorts of stuff going on. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. This guy will definitely be fighting probably in about two weeks on the channel, but I do need to do some upgrades and make some things actually happen. Uh, however, this goes to show you that it is actually possible to build too small uh, for a flea weight, and that is that is what I've done. It's absolutely what I've done. I've got a whole 10 grams left. I can't believe that that's happened. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video.